Hey guys, welcome back to Pass Money Plan. I'm Alex. That's Kirby. Um, check this video out with Patrick Bet David. If you know every show on Netflix and you're broke, you have a problem. You're lazy. If you know every hit song that comes out and you're broke, you're lazy. If you know every single post on social media of other people's lives and you don't have another hustle that you're working, you have to accept the fact that you're lazy. My hip hop music stops in 03. My nightlife stops in 03. My chasing of women the way, the way I did stopped in 03. My desire to want to watch and consume every single sporting event that I never missed a Lakers game. We're going to say, well, poor you. You're working so hard. But then how do you know so much about all these shows? I started realizing I'm making way too many excuses. I'm blaming the world for my problems. I'm not taking any responsibility. I stopped questioning things. And I said, listen, if I want my life to change, I got to make a decision about it. All right. So, Kirby. So before I start, Kirby, this is everything you say all the time. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, Kirby, this is him right here. Yeah, this is, I mean, the funny thing, this just happened to me a couple of days ago. Um, I was meeting up with uh, a buddy I haven't seen in, got me 15 plus years, military friend of mine. Um have seen him 15 years, um, but he was close to in town, so I went to go meet up with him. And he wanted to talk about his problems he was having in real estate. And I was, especially anybody that I've been in combat with, I'm willing to give him every information, I, all the information I have. But he wanted information on his real estate, so I was Happy to oblige, but then a bat while I was talking, a basketball game came on. I think it was a playoff game or something like that. And you could tell his attention just dropped and it went 100% focused on the game. And then I looked up at the game, and then I, the only thing I said, I said, You know, when you're done watching this game, no matter if you watch it or not, they're still going to make their money. And you're still going to have the same issue. I guess that went in one ear out the other. And then I just told him, I was like, I haven't watched sports and I haven't watched basketball in years. I couldn't even tell you who's on whose team. But like, of course, when we, when we were soldiers together in the military, that's what we always did, just sit there and watch sports. But like I said, some things never change and some things do change. And um, and then eventually, because I had nothing to offer as far as sports, you know, we could talk, we could reminisce, we could talk about the different things in life, but I can't just sit there and waste two and a half hours of my life watching other people run up and down the court and make money when those two and a half hours I could spend on ways to, for me to make more money. So... I just told him, I said, I'm no value add to this this scene. You know, it was great catching up. We talked, we chopped it up, reminisced. Of course, he didn't get all the information he needed, but I refused to sit there for two and a half hours watching some grown man run up and down the road when I still got a journey to go on my own. But I got more to say, so I'm going to pass it off to you so I can sound very cool, kind of collector. <laughs> No, I just love the video because when you sent it to me, I was like, this is, I mean, this is everything you always say, you know, if, mm -hmm. especially the sports one, because um, you mentioned that a lot with sports, how you used to be very uh, involved with sports and now, you know, it's just not a topic on your day. Um, but it's, it's 100% true because um, all the people I hear that make excuses for themselves as to why they can't do something better for themselves financially or to lead them down a path of success, they, as he was saying, they know every show on Netflix. They are constantly up to date with every season and uh, whether it be a football game um, or a basketball game or hockey, like they're on top of sports. Um 
some of the closest people to me that, you know, struggle financially, they, they are involved heavily with sports. And I've always had the same mentality too, um, is, you know, why would I pay attention to them? There's not, I, I don't see any personal gain from involving myself with sports as far as watching entertainment wise. Um, and it was the same mentality. Uh, I had told you about this, but when um, I had went to Miami once with some friends and they wanted to do the the tour to go look at that little private island where all the famous and wealthy people stay. And all I could think about is why would I pay $20 to look at someone in the position of where I want to be? Like, I, I, like it does, it does me no personal gain. I already know they're famous and successful, but I'd rather use that $20, buy some stock to, you know, you know, rather than Ooh. blow it on something that's not gonna, you know, do me any good. It just, it, it was no interest to me. I thought it, I thought it was actually more sad than anything seeing the amount of waves of people getting on these boats to go look at people knowing that they'll never be in those positions just because of because the, the uh sorry okay, no, no no go ahead go that's ahead. just showing you that's just showing you the people that's already given up on life they right. know they'll never they they want to try to find well they think it's impossible to read so the closest i'll ever get to it is go watch somebody else enjoy it well right that's why that's why the reality shows, that's why the social media influencers, people at a young age, 12, 13, 14, they all over these influencers because they already gave up on achieving the goal. So they just rather just watch somebody else do it so they can vicarious live through live through them. Right. Um and it's it's a sad state of affairs. Now me, I like you know me, I'm a Detroit Lions fan. If I catch a Lions game every now and then, so be it. But I but well, like I said, like Patrick Ben Davis said, like when he says hip hop for him stopped in 03, it was funny. Mine uh mine stopped in about 06. My and probably earlier than that. Like Jada Kiss, when he first came out, solo solo artist, that was it for me. But before that, I was already listening to AM radio. I was just listening to the wrong stuff on AM radio. I didn't listen to the hip hop stations before that, but I was listening to the sports talk radio. Like I said, in the military, that's that, that's what the conversation was always about: sports, sports, sports. So the person who had the most knowledge of sports was the person that everybody wanted to talk to. Uh, and then so, so yeah, it just stopped. And I just the whole chasing, so chasing all this other stuff. It was not, uh, I think, like I said, uh, me, I know a lot of hip hop. I know a lot of hip hop. So I always take the, you know, some little messages that they pass around there and I, and I always implement to what I say. But Nas used to say, you will always lose money chasing women, but you'll never lose a woman chasing money. So that that's all I needed here. That's all I need to hear. But but yeah, but when it gets and then like you said, knowing the Netflix and things, when I talk to the people, they know every show, every episode, they know when the next season's coming out. And I'm just like, uh, maybe if I have some free time and my family just want to sit around on the couch one day, we watch something. But they follow along like like zombies, like sheep waiting to be slaughtered. And that's I mean, it's a sad state of affairs. It's a sad, very sad state of affairs that this is where, and I mean, it's not new, but this is where, especially with social media and all these other platforms, it's more easier to watch celebrities. And people just gave up and they just figure, I ain't gonna ever have it. Let me just watch other people enjoy it. And I'm just cool with this nine to five or nine to two if you're part-time and just let that life go on. Sorry for jumping out on a tangent, but you know how I feel about this one. Yeah, no, and it, it's true. I mean, I think the biggest pet peeve for me is seeing um, just people make excuses, but they have all the time in the world to focus on this stuff. You know, I mean, if someone binge watches a season i mean that's 
what consider maybe 45 minutes an hour every episode and they're watching 10 15 episodes each season so you're wasting oh, almost an entire day or two days of what you could be using that time to do something else um <clears throat> which is funny because i remember you said like even if you are watching a show you're still on zillow looking at deals that's <laughs> so like you know it's like at that point like you know you, you can multitask and uh trade stocks while you're doing something else or whatever but like most people they're just focused on this well, the thing is they don't have the knowledge to even do trade and no 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 so they they just i'm saying if you do have that they just watch the tv they just watch the TV. Yeah, they might yeah, be checking yeah. social media to see what Kim Kardashian and crew doing, <laughs> yeah. but that's about it. That's all the multitasking they doing. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying if you do have the knowledge, but if you don't, then no, these people are just zoomed in, distracted, and that's it. But yeah, I just think it's a it's a waste of time. It's it's a uh, it's terrible. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Patrick Ben David, he was 100 percent right. If you don't give up all the all the other bullshit, you're just gonna be you're gonna be a loser. You're gonna be broke. And you're gonna want people to feel sorry for you, but you spent your 8, 10, 12 hours a day doing shit that didn't matter on the ESPNs, on the Fox Sports News, on the Netflix, the Hulu's, the Amazon Primes. That's what you spent your life on. When all the time you could be getting educated, uh, you could absorb somebody's podcast. I mean, I know today people don't like reading books and I always say read books, uh, but you can absorb somebody's podcast, get a how to video going, do something. You're already on social media, so change what you're looking at in social media to something that's going to be substantive to you to build something, create a business, you know. Be a traveling uh, notary. There's so many things out there that you could do, but the only thing you want to do is sit there and complain about how you don't have no money because you see the celebrities going out there blowing money and you want to be out there blowing money, but you don't have no money because you spent all your time watching the celebrities and not spending your time figuring out how to get money. But then it's Alex's fault, the rich guy. It's, it's, it's all his fault, man. You got to take more taxes from Alex. And give it to you because <laughs> Alex spent time looking at educational videos and you spend time looking at the next tip drill, pop, drop, and locking videos. So it's Alex's fault. Let's just call it who it is. Alex, it's your fault. Pay your tax. <laughs> oh, man. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.